Section 3 of Chapter 20 is going to talk about estimating inventory. You, and you're going to use the gross profit method of estimating inventory. Now, when we have a large business with a large amount of merchandise, you are not going to go out and physically count merchandise any more often than you have to because of the cost of hiring people to do that. But there might be times that you need to have an idea of the inventory you have, and so we'll use this method. You're estimating the inventory by using the previous year's percentage of gross profit on operations. Now, if you remember, that percentage of gross profit was calculated when you did the income statement, when we did that cost of merchandise section of an income statement. So we're going to use that percentage to do an estimate. And there's four steps to doing this gross profit method. The first step, you're going to use your beginning inventory, merchandise inventory account, what it was on January 31st, or maybe the beginning of a particular month. Then you're going to add in your net purchases. Remember that net purchases are purchases less purchases return and purchases discount. So you're going to add your net purchases and you're going to get the cost of merchandise available for sale. Now we're going to use this number, this merchandise available, a little bit later. Step two, you're going to take your net sales for January from the 1st to the 31st. Again, don't forget net sales means sales less sales discount less sales return allowance and you're going to multiply those net sales times the previous year's gross profit percentage like I said earlier this you will get from your income statement or if you're looking at directions they'll probably give it to you in the instructions what that gives you is the estimated gross profit on operations so you're just estimating step three you're going to take those net sales again. You're going to deduct the gross profit on operations that you just figured, and you're going to get an estimated cost of merchandise sold. Step four, take your cost of merchandise available for sale, deduct the estimated cost of merchandise sold, and you will get the estimated ending merchandise inventory. Now, if we look at all those four steps, from step two, our net sales here, we bring down and use again. Our estimated gross profit, we bring down and use again in step three. So what we do in step two really gives us the numbers we need for step three. In step one, we figured merchandise available for sale. We take that answer down to step four. And we deduct our estimated gross profit on operations, or excuse me, our estimated cost of merchandise sold bring that down and deduct that. So as we are stepping through this gross profit method, what we figure in step one and step two, we use in step three and step four to get our ending inventory. Remember this is estimated. This is not an exact science, but it's estimated. We use this for months other than the first month. It's, it's just like it is. So if I decided I wanted to do this in May because I needed to have an estimate inventory, I would do the same steps. This example just shows it for January. I could do it for any month that I needed to or any period of time through the year that I needed to if I had not done a physical inventory. So at this point, you're going to stop, and I want you to take a look at the 20-3 work together on your own. Start putting those numbers in, start trying to work through this and see that you can do this estimated inventory.